recently back from her European acoustic tour with Skunk and Nancy. She has two incredible albums already under her belt and her new single Waves is out now. It's Karima Francis. Hi Karima. Hello. Thanks for coming to chat to us. How are you feeling? Uh, quite, uh, quite good. Yeah? Are yeah. you excited about the gig tonight? Yeah, really excited. And about playing with the full band? Yeah, I mean, like, it's, our, it's our first like proper gig to be honest. Um, yeah, we've been together for like a year and it's like, it's crazy to just come here and then you have this quick little sound check and then that's it, that's your moment to like, to show them what you've been working at, but um, I'm, I'm really nervous to be honest. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to try and enjoy myself, it's a nice venue. Waves came crashing down on the other land. And your new single, Waves, is out now. Oh, Tell yeah. us about that. What's the story behind it? Um, well, I guess I was just walking home one day and uh, I always drag my feet, but I was dragging my feet a lot harder. And uh, I guess a lot of changes happened in my life over the last couple of years. And um, it was kind of, it's kind of a positive song. It sounds quite down, but like, it's basically I felt like I was, I'd hit rock bottom and I was a bit struggling to like figure out what I was going to do next for my life and I was scared. Yeah. But it felt like the only way I could describe the, the kind of frantic thing that was going on in my mind was by the waves crashing down. But what I say on the other land, it means like I'm not going to let them crash. You know, it feels like they're crashing down, but I'm not going to let it ruin my life. And so it's quite a positive spin, if okay. you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. And that's part of a new album that is in progress at the moment. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Um, yeah. Well, I mean, we've got I've got quite a lot of new tracks, but like we've got we've got five tonight that we're playing that we're, that we're probably on a, on a record and then we're going to do like five old ones as well brilliant um yeah i'm really excited i uh i picked up the electric guitar basically i went to see my uh, producer flood and uh he said he really wanted me to hear me like take the acoustic guitar away so i i went out like a couple of days later and i bought a fender strat and i i bought a, a delay pedal and i literally wrote, wrote waves then that was it it was uh and that was the start of it, so... And are you enjoying that new direction? Yeah, I am. I mean, like, Perfect Dream, that song is so big, and, it, like, it's still just me doing what I do, and it's still quite minimal if you... you no, know, but it's such a big sound for not even doing so much. Yeah. It's, it, it's really good. It does really express the kind of way that I'm, I'm feeling in the moment. Brilliant. And you recently toured with Skunk and Nancy around Europe. Yeah, and that actually, must have been incredible. Like, what an experience! I know. I actually think uh, a couple of the guys might be coming down tonight. Oh, fantastic. not Skin. I think she's away on holiday, but I think the um, Cass and, and Ace, the guitarist, might be coming soon. Oh, but amazing. yeah, that was amazing. I like to stand in front of them audiences. They were so big, and to be singing in front of like she was like a bit of a musical idol of mine when I was like 14, when I was playing drums to like her records. She always scared me, but she went that scary when I got to know her. She's yeah. great, and she's a really great performer and the real deal. And it was nice to to watch and learn, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Did you have like a favourite moment of that tour, or like a favourite place that you visited? Um, probably Venice. I didn't play Venice, but I snuck off. I was staying in Padua, which was just like about 20 minutes away, and I snuck off and I went there all day. And I was just wandering around by the canals, and I got myself a little tipsy and just like I didn't want to leave I was like I know the train's coming back but I kind of want something tragic to happen so I don't have to get on it <laughs> and it was just, just I felt like <laughs> I know I just I really I felt so great there like yeah. it feels alive like I can feel its pulse yeah. and I really felt like I belonged there so I might have to go back yeah, it sounds like you need to go back definitely yeah. great so what is coming up next for you to be honest um, hopefully I'm hoping that this gig maybe maybe the start of what's going to come up next. Um, yeah. I mean, I've got a, a couple of festivals in, but yeah. I'm hoping to, it'd be nice to get a little tour again, like a yeah. proper tour, doing all my I mean, my new stuff, maybe as a two-piece or something, and mm -hmm. hopefully work, figuring out how I'm going to put the record out. Um, it seems, like, basically, I put waves out myself. Oh, really? I just, I went onto a site, I uploaded it, and it, it was on iTunes today, and I didn't realise it was that easy. I could control my own campaign, to, work, to be honest. Yeah, I found it on Spotify today. Yeah, did you? Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, yeah, makes you, you feel really clever. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> oh, cool. Well, good luck with everything. Thank and you. Have an amazing gig tonight. I can't wait. To I see can't you. wait, and it's lovely to excited. meet you. Lovely to meet you too. Take care. Thank All you the for best. having me. Yeah. Thank you, Karima Francis. Yeah. Yeah.